my name's Joey and welcome to Share the Word. Today I'm going to be share, sharing from Haggai. He's one of the prophets in the Old Testament. He's got a short book, it's just two chapters long. Um, like this book was written at the time when the Israelites had come out of exile um, and they were now free people. Um, but the Jerusalem was still in ruins and the temple hadn't been re rebuilt and it had been destroyed. Um, so I'm just going to share a few verses. We're going to start in chapter 1 from verses 2 to 5. So it starts. Thus speaks the Lord of hosts, saying, This people says, The time has not come, the time that the Lord's house should be built. Then the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet, saying, Is it time for you yourselves to dwell in your paneled houses, and this temple to lie in ruins? Now therefore, thus says the Lord of hosts, Consider your ways. So at this time, the people were saying, oh, it's not time for us to serve the Lord. It's not time for us to rebuild the temple. Like they were saying, these were like all their own thoughts. And the Lord was saying, have you asked me what I think? Have you asked me, is it time? He said, I'm telling you, like, is it time for you to be in your own houses? Paneled houses, Yani, means houses that are like kind of extra rich, extra furnished, extra comfortable. He's saying, is that the, like, did I say that it's time for that? Consider your ways. And he repeats this phrase later on. He tells them again, consider your ways. Look at yourself, like look at your life. Like what kind of life are you living? Are you living the life that I asked you to live? Or are you just doing what you want to do? And basically he tells them after this, like I want you to go and to build this temple. Go to the mountain, go bring wood and rebuild build the temple of the Lord. And like the reason that he wants this is that he wants his glory to be amongst them. Like he wants to be in the middle of them. He wants them to enjoy him, to know him, to have him like in, in all his glory, his kingdom like around them. But Homa, like, like those people, they, they were just thinking about themselves, like thinking about what they thought would satisfy them. And if you read through the chapter, he says like you tried to satisfy yourself, you tried to eat nice things and you tried to like work good jobs, but at the end you found it was nothing, like you still found yourself empty, you still found yourself hungry. It's because you're missing out on what I've asked you to do. I've asked you to build my house. And like obviously we know like like God is God, he is creator of everything, he is Yani, he is like he's above all, like he he's not limited to, to living in a temple. But he was trying to teach them, like, I want you to make a home for me, a place for me. Like, and the most important place is that we make a place for him in our heart. Like, he wants, he wants to live inside us. He wants us to make ourselves holy for him. He wants us to, like, to honor him and give him a place. So he, he's kind of rebuking, rebuking them in this chapter, telling them, like, consider your ways, look at your life. But the Lord never gives us a commandment, never gives us something to do and doesn't give us a promise, doesn't give us a hope of his help. So the next verse I want to share, it's from um, verse 13, the chapter 1 as well. It says, Then Haggai, the Lord's messenger, spoke the Lord's message to the people, saying, I am with you, says the Lord. Like this verse really stands out in the chapter. I mean, the Lord is speaking the whole chapter. He's, it says the Lord says, and then it has like a long speech that the Lord says. And then randomly this verse comes and it's got like this whole long introduction about how the Lord is speaking. The Lord's messenger comes and he gives the Lord's message and he speaks saying and says the Lord. Like this whole long kind of weird introduction and the Lord only says four verses. I am with you. But like I think he, he wanted to like drum it into our heads that he is saying to us, I am with you. Like you may think like... Uh, it's like not possible for us to like to build this house like to rebuild the temple must have seemed like such a big like a big task to do like the first temple Solomon's temple was so beautiful like it was known in the whole world it was the most beautiful place so like imagine like you're like you have to build a palace like you where do you start like you don't know where to start like it seems like too big a task but the Lord said like all you have to do is begin like I am with you and I will help you and this place will be beautiful because I am there. Like that is, like, that is the most important thing is that he is there. So for us, like we need to look at our lives. Like, like the Lord was telling me like, Joanna, look at your life, consider your ways. Like, what are you doing with your life? Are you thinking, are you thinking about me? Are you thinking about my service? Are you, are you making your first priority that, that I like am at home in your heart, that I am living in you, that I am, 
like dwelling in your house, dwelling in your family, dwelling amongst your friends. Like, are you, is that what you're doing? And like, if it seemed too difficult that I could have a place in your friends, in your in your workplace, like in like the things I'm doing, don't worry. I am promising I am with you. Like this is this is his promise for me, and this is his promise for you. Um, that's what I wanted to share today. I mean, the book of Haggai is full of so many beautiful things. Um, so read it and you'll enjoy it. I'm sure. Thank you.